Today, we'll finally review the Smart Home Panel 2 and EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. Hey, welcome to Unbox This With Will, where we unbox, review, and test out different home and travel products that we think are interesting, offer value, and save money. Today, we're diving deep into how the DPU and SHP2 are a powerful backup solar solution for your home. Whether you're prepping for power outages or looking to go green, this setup might be just what you need. Plus, we'll also crunch some numbers to see how much we saved over the last three months of usage and share my experience with the installation, app, and hardware. Before we jump into the details, let's talk about why backup solar is so important. Power outages can happen anytime, and they can be more than just an inconvenience. They can be dangerous, especially here in Texas where the whole state is an oven in August. Having a reliable backup power source can keep your home running smoothly during these times. Plus, with solar power, you're not only ensuring your energy security, but also contributing to a greener planet. This combination even allows you to add a generator to ensure multiple options to keep power going during an outage. Also, you get to save money and take advantage of 30% solar tax incentive. So this is my setup, two DPU inverters and then five total batteries, three on one, two on the other, plus the SHP2. Here we have the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra. As you can see, it's huge. But the best part is how easy it is to set up. You just stack the batteries and connect them with these connector plugs and you're ready to go. It comes with these wheeled carts making it movable. Want more power? Just add more batteries. Up to five or 30 kilowatt hours can be added to an inverter. This unit can power many devices in your home and work as a generator through its 30 amp, 240 volt plug. Everything is built with improvements from the previous iteration, the Delta Pro, for example, the inverter is now whisper quiet, the screens point upwards for easier viewing, and the plugs no longer stick out, making it easier to store them. For me, the standalone DPU is great for charging your electric car or a basic generator you can keep in your garage to back up your home during a blackout. But there is a cost, a pretty huge cost. This thing starts at $57.99, although it's often on sale for $4,500 to $5,000 for just the battery and inverter. Each battery is 6.1 kilowatt hours and the inverters are capable of 7,200 watts sustained output with short bursts over that amount. This is paired with a single 30 amp L1430 outlet for max output and a few 20 amp regular AC plugs and some DC outlets. It offers up to 5,600 input of solar with 4,000 coming from the high voltage and 1,600 watts coming from the low voltage input. You can stack up to five batteries per inverter and plug three inverters into the smart home panel too, giving you 30 amps of output from each inverter at 240 volts. It's not the easiest to get full solar input on this thing as 450 volts and 15 amps on the high voltage and 150 volts and 15 amps on the low can be tricky. Achieving 70 to 80% of max output is no problem though and gives you some flexibility. A series install for your whole system is probably the easiest route without worrying about parallel connectors or combiner boxes. Now the thing that ties the batteries together and makes the system a whole home backup, this is the Smart Home Panel 2. A subpanel with EcoFlow integration, smart features like automatic transfer, time of use, and storm guard. Like the brains of Tesla Powerwall, this can help you control the power coming in and out of your Delta Pro Ultras to power up to 12 circuits in your home with more if you use tandem breakers. Plus, it can supply your DPUs with max charging speeds. The DPU is a very capable all-in-one system. You have 240 volts, AC and DC power, 5600 watts of solar input, and a myriad of features. If you don't need all the integration into your home with smart features, UPS, and full monitoring charging from SHP2, just having the DPU may be for you. Maybe you just want to use it as a car charger at home. It would be an expensive car charger, but you could easily get 40 to 80 miles a day from one of these if you max out the solar. Plus, you now have an emergency backup battery that you can set up to integrate with your main panel through a generator inlet. Or if you want some to power some circuits only at certain times, you could use a manual transfer switch to power some circuits 
and have the option of choosing between generator or grid. It's versatile and offers almost everything you need for basic backup. And because it's modular, you can always add more batteries if needed. So what does the Smart Home Panel 2 bring? The Smart Home Panel 2 allows you to step up your system to integrate with your home and be its backup. It shines if you're in a time of use where energy is cheaper at certain times. You can charge up your battery to a certain level and keep it topped off with solar, reducing the need to install as many solar panels and keeping your initial costs down. Plus, once you have the Smart Home Panel 2 installed, you can charge your DPU very fast at up to 7200 watts. Keep in mind that there are line losses when converting or storing power, meaning if you charge the battery up to 6 kilowatt hours, you may only access 80 to 90% of that power. There are many places to order and buy the DPU. I've included affiliate links to EcoFlow's website and eBay, but buy wherever the price is cheapest. Honestly, they all almost get shipped out by EcoFlow themselves in the end. Shipping took about a week and every piece was shipped in its own box and did not all arrive at the same time. Setting up the DPU is pretty easy if you're strong. Each battery weighs close to 200 pounds and the molded foam is very tight around the device. Once you get it out, you put it on this wheel base that requires the wheels to be screwed in. I wish there was a little bit more of a secure way to put them onto the base. They just kind of sit on top of each other on these channeled pathways and it's being held down because it's so heavy. It's not much of an issue, but rolling a few of them on top of each other can sometimes be unstable. Setting up the solar is super easy. The high voltage has an MC4 connection, which is standard. It's useful to get a solar crimping set so you can cut your own cables if your panels are far from the set or if you need to make adjustments. It's easy to do and allows you to measure and make the perfect length of cable. The low voltage uses an XT90 plug, which is included and much welcomed upgrade from the Delta Pro's plug. The high voltage allows up to 450 volts and 15 amps, 4,000 watts maximum, and the low voltage is 150 volts and 15 amps, 1,600 watts maximum, the same as the Delta Pro. You can also plug this into an electric car charger, generator, or wall outlet. Installing the Smart Home Panel 2 requires more effort, and I'd recommend getting a professional. I qualified for a free consultation from EcoFlow because I was in Texas. The process was super easy. I just emailed their service department and a representative called a local electrician. The electrician was knowledgeable about EcoFlow during the consultation. I wish EcoFlow had followed up to provide instructions during the consultation. I spent a lot of time researching before I felt comfortable asking the right questions and getting set up. My experience with the electrician was mostly good, except for one hiccup. They had to send a backup team and they weren't as experienced with EcoFlow and spent the whole day buying materials and it didn't end up being useful for the home installation. Luckily, the main electrician came for the install. He was very knowledgeable and got the job done neatly and creatively. I included his information down below if you wanna give him a call and you're in Dallas. The install took about five to six hours and costs around $2,000, but will vary depending on your needs. Once up, it integrates perfectly with the e Delta Pro Ultra and in 10 minutes, I had it connected to the app and working. Time for some real world results. I have quite a few appliances running on my two Delta Pro Ultras. A five ton AC that I added a soft start to, a washer dryer, dishwasher, and refrigerator, as well as various room circuits. With 12 spots, I was able to move around 80% of my circuits over from a 2,200 square foot home. In the last three months, everything has run almost flawlessly, pulling about eight kilowatts sustained during peak usage. Most importantly, I almost never heard the DPU unless I went to the garage, and even then, it was a quiet fan noise. This is much, much improved from the Delta Pro. We had a number of outages recently due to a strong storm passing Dallas and power was knocked out for almost a full day and we barely noticed. The only reason we knew power was out was because the internet was down due to the fiber optic towers also losing power in our area. It was nice to power through the outage without worrying. Luckily, it wasn't in the middle of summer as we wouldn't have had enough power for the AC to last all day. In daily use, the Delta Pro Ultra and SHP2 have been fantastic. During power outages, they kept everything from the fridge to the AC running without a hitch. Plus the impact on my electricity bill has been quite noticeable. 
Maintenance has been super minimal. The app started out pretty terrible, especially for the DPU data wasn't logged and the savings versus solar didn't work correctly. Once the SHP2 was installed, it resolved some of those issues, but the savings calculation on the app still needs work. The app controls are top notch and you can seamlessly control the DPU and SHP2 from the app when there is good connection. Let's dive into the last three months. The EcoFlow app shows savings data, but as I mentioned, the data isn't the most accurate. However, it does show how much solar power I got and my daily total usage. Here is a comparison of my electricity bills from last year to this year. As you can see, they have significantly fallen from May and June, while our usage has actually gone up. Seeing that our solar was able to keep up with our usage, we use more electricity for things like cooling and car charging. Keep in mind our EcoFlow app data is only showing 80% of the circuits we have on the SHP2. Last year we spent around $3,000 on electricity. We expect to save around $2,000-$2,500 a year on electricity. Here's our total cost and expected payback period. Our EcoFlow hardware and installation costs around $18,000 with cabling and solar panels we sourced ourselves, adding an additional $2,500 to the cost. All in, we are about $20,500. We expect to get a tax credit for at least the $18,000 we spent on batteries and install, so about $5,400 back in tax credit, making our total around $15,000. I'll link down below all the materials we use and also the number of electrician here in Dallas. We also paid $150 to get out of our old electricity plan to get onto a time of use plan so we could take advantage of the cheaper electricity times and maximize our solar battery savings. With our estimated $2,500 yearly savings, our payback period is around six years, but it's likely to be faster than that, accounting for our hugely increased usage for our electric cars while still keeping our actual electric bill down. And this is for the state of Texas, where after fees and taxes, our electricity costs less than 20 cents per kilowatt hour. But to be fair, our electricity is private and we have cool time of use plans unlike other states. Besides the high cost of setup, there are some drawbacks. The DPU takes up a large footprint in the garage or wherever you're gonna store it. It's not made to be easily wall mounted and is bulkier than some competition. The app shows a lot of data, but it's jumbled and doesn't make sense sometimes. There's no way to force the SHP2 to power through the battery if it gets knocked out. This happened to me a few times when the power got below the 10% limit that I set, the circuit stopped being run by the battery. Once it charged up from solar to get to about 30%, it didn't switch back. Customer service isn't always knowledgeable about the new issues with the DPU and SHP2. Luckily, they do have a Facebook group and it's super helpful with some staff members and they're always answering questions as well. So I'll link to that down below. The closest competition on wheels in the market right now is probably the Anchor Solix 3800. It sits neatly between the Delta Pro and DPU. It lacks the output and solar input the DPU has, which makes the DPU a legitimate whole home backup. The Ultra has a class leading 5.6 kilowatts of solar input while the Anchor Solix 3800 only has 2.4 which is not enough as a full backup. But the Anchor Solix does have a 50 amp plug built in, which is pretty nice and seems to handle inrush better than the Pro Ultra, even though it has a lower sustained output rating. To sum up, here are the pros. High capacity, excellent build quality, seamless integration, and efficient solar charging. EcoFlow offers installation assistance, a generous warranty, and customer service. On the downside, the initial setup cost can be high, and professional installation for the Smart Home Panel 2 is recommended, adding to the cost. You are locked into the EcoFlow ecosystem, which means if you want to add more capacity, you'll want to stick with EcoFlow. Overall, I highly recommend the EcoFlow Delta Pro Ultra for anyone looking for a flexible all-in-one solar solution and the SHP2 for anyone wanting to get the most out of the DPU. It's a beast of a solar generator that's still on wheels. Plus, you have a strong warranty from a company willing to back their product line. Thanks for watching guys. And if you enjoyed this content, please subscribe and like this video for more reviews, unboxing, and testing on products that bring value to your home and travel.